<laughs> In today's dribble time game, we're going to kick the football with our chest. And with our knee? <laughs> then we'll squash it like a bug? Soccer buddies, today's dribble time game is all about controlling the ball. With your body. Let's start with our knees. When the ball is too high for your foot, you can use your knee to control it. Oh, jumping up and down has not been working. Pick the ball up and hold it above your knee. Drop the ball onto your knee and bring your knee up at the same time. The ball should hit right by your knee. Nice! She's got it. If your leg and knee is flat, the ball will pop upwards and will land right in front of you. Nice catch! Now we're going to use our chest to control the ball. Chest? The football's about to punch me in the stomach. Uh, Mousy, your chest is up here. Get up on your toes to push your chest forward. Soccer buddies, use an underarm throw to pop the ball up onto the kid's chest. Most of the time you'll want the football to drop right in front of your feet. But you can also make it a chest pass. She's a chess kicking superhero. Oh, she's using her knee too. Now we're going to play the bug squash. We just controlled the football with our knees and our chest. Now the ball is bouncing at our feet and we need to control it. Well, we are playing football. It's soccer, bro. That's right. It's football and it's soccer. Okay, the football's got to get to our feet. So we can dribble. Soccer buddies, you're going to do that underarm throw again. You want the football to have a small bounce in front of the kid. Now trap the ball with your foot. It looks simple, but you have to time the ball bouncing with your foot coming up and pushing down on the center of the ball. Or it won't stay there. And give both feet a try. Got it. Do the knee, chest, and book squash 20 times each, and try play the game at least three times a week. I'm gonna play on Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Nice job, Birdie. Okay, have fun and remember. Dribbling is happiness! <laughs>